Myrtle Beach is full of memories. Folks that move here, they remember vacations to the beach, spent in a chair, watching their kids play in the waves. They kept a jar of shells that they collected here and they promised themselves that one day they would live here. For locals, we remember the Pavilion Amusement Park, we remember less traffic on Kings Highway, and the old Myrtle Beach Air Force Base. I've lived here my entire life, and one thing that's constant is that it's changing. For everyone that comes here, it's the hub of more than 60 miles of beach along the Grand Strand with amazing restaurants and entertainment. It's a destination. It's home. With more than 35,000 people living in the city of Myrtle Beach, it's also the most densely populated area in our county. It can feel even more populated because the Grand Strand area hosts more than 20 million visitors each year. The area's economy is driven by tourism, hotels, thousands of restaurants and entertainment businesses, and they're all there to help make our guests make even more memories. Most folks think of the Sky Wheel and the Boardwalk when they think of Myrtle Beach. Those are great places to visit, but I think of all the different areas of Myrtle Beach that folks might not know about. Myrtle Beach proper can be a great place to live. Grand Dunes is a premier residential and golfing community. Two championship golf courses and the gorgeous Ocean Club and Marina Inn. Residents enjoy an exclusive lifestyle with stunning amenities. Just south of Grand Dunes is the famous Golden Mile and what I call the Avenues. It's the residential area wrapped around Pine Lakes Golf Course with a rich history. A lot of locals live here, along with transplanted retirees, and it's also a great place to raise a family. The oceanfront homes in this area are stunning, along with those nestled in the live oaks along the avenues. Further south, there's Market Common, the amazing development built from the Myrtle Beach Air Force Base. This is one of the premier residential locations in the area, with shopping, restaurants, and parks, all within walking distance of most of the neighborhoods. It's one of my family's favorite areas to visit. Myrtle Beach proper is huge. It's much bigger than people think. It's made of small communities like Arcadian Shores that's tucked away on the other side of Grand Dunes, and then even past that is Briarcliff Acres. That area has some of my favorite condo complexes along with Kingston Plantation, the Tanger Outlets, and Bass Pro Shops for shopping. The river community of Sakasti is the home of close family friends and one of the area's best high school with its prestigious International Baccalaureate program. The Sakasti Swing Bridge was the final leg that marked the completion of the 2,700 mile long Intracoastal Waterway that runs from Maine, Florida, and straight through our area. In between the main thoroughfares of highways 501 and 544 is the bustling community of Forestbrook, with neighborhoods filled with thousands of families living close to the coast with easy access to the area via Highway 31. Still included in Myrtle Beach is the booming population center of Carolina Forest. My wife was the first graduating class of Carolina Forest High School. I've watched the area transform from a few communities to a flourishing area with dozens of neighborhoods. Myrtle Beach is ready for you to make your move and make your own memories in the crown jewel of the Grand Strand. I'm here as a local guide to help you make the best decision for you and your family when buying or selling properties in our area. I was put on this earth to make a difference in the lives of others. God gives me opportunities to impact lives through real estate. My name is Luke Anderson, and I'm here to help.